Several of you uh, in the comments section have asked me how I jibe a gaff rig boat in strong winds and uh, manage those running backstays. Uh, so right now we got about 20 to 25 knots of wind and a veering wind shift which is prompting us to put the boat through a jibe. So after disengaging the self-steering vane, I'm going to begin pulling in the main sheet. And as I pull in the main sheet, as you can see, I'm beginning to also take up on the slack runner. So here I'm taking in some more main sheet right now. And then I'm going to take up on the running backstay. And I'm going to pull the main sheet in until I can get that uh, lee running backstay tight. Um, so now I've got that lee runner tight almost tight. Now I have it tight. And uh, so I'm going to slack off on the windward runner and uh, in preparation to put her through the jibe. And here we go. Jibe -o. And usually right when that main swings around she's going to take a deep roll to lure it there. Yeah, not too much this time. Sometimes when uh, on that lee roll she'll put her rail right under. Uh, try to broach two on you, but uh, she's behaving pretty well this time. And so now I'm let it, letting the main sheet back out. When paying out a sheet in these conditions, you should always do it hand over hand. Uh, but since I had a hand on the tiller, I was just letting it slip through my hands and catching it. Uh, but you're always risking a pretty nasty rope burn doing that. Now at the, this point with her semi-settled on to port jibe, I'm going to re-engage the self-steering vane um, uh, before I, I continue tidying up because uh, I'm going to have to go forward and uh, clear the, the staysail sheets which are wrapped around the chocks for the dinghy and uh, also I'm going to have to re-rig my boom vane um, on the other side. So now I'm on my way forward there to uh, clear these staysail sheets. Uh, but first I'm just going to take up as much, uh, take up some slack and uh, belay, get the, uh, the sheet into the self-tailing mechanism there. Uh, because once, once I release that jammed sheet, I don't want the staysail to suddenly uh, uh, go free there and start flogging in the wind. Uh, you want to avoid sails flogging in strong winds as much as possible because uh, it's very bad for the sails. Uh, it's also pretty hard on your nerves. When I have to do jobs on deck uh, like this where I have to be constantly moving around, moving back and forth, um, I will not wear a safety harness uh, just because it's just it's too much trouble to be constantly be clipping and unclipping and uh, plus the harness can get tangled up in what you're trying to do. Um, Usually I'll only put the harness on if I'm going to be on deck for any length of time, um, and especially if I have to go out on the bowsprit to hank or unhank the jib. Finally, getting the staysail sheeted in, and sorted out, and uh, so now, now we're going to move on to uh, uh, moving the boom vang, which is the line I have in my hand right now. Uh, send that down through a block on the, on the lee rail there, um, and that, that's just to prevent uh, if uh, to prevent an accidental jibe back the other way should the self steering gear uh, get knocked way off course by a big wave or whatnot. Um, and this is one job where it would be better to have a safety harness on uh, because it's uh, when, when you're sitting on the, on the lee side deck there and, uh, and you need both hands for the job, uh, about the only thing preventing you from going overboard is that lifeline. Um, so, but as always, just pay attention to what you're doing and, uh, and hang on at all times. Ahoy, everybody! We are at 
28 degrees. 30, 32 minutes north, 28 degrees, 32 minutes north, and 68 degrees, 17 minutes west. We've got northeasterly winds between about 20 and 30 knots. I'd say running right now about 25, 28 knots. So far, still staying below gale force, thankfully. Um, Uh, we've run pretty good uh, in the overnight. Um, we're, we're, we're bombing south at a pretty good clip here. And uh, hopefully we'll be getting into those lighter winds pretty soon. I uh, was not able to get anything relevant from Chris Parker this morning. Um, But, uh, except one other yacht that's down at uh, a little north of 24 North, so they're about 250 miles ahead of us. And um, they're just dealing with, uh, with uh, light southerlies right now, so they just have light headwinds. And it does sound like we're going to be out of the fire and into the frying pan here. Because uh, once, once we get out of these strong winds, we're going to have light winds. Uh, though right now that doesn't sound too bad, does it? I mean, it's, uh, yeah, so light winds, you're going slow, but at least you're not getting thrown all over the place. Um, so hopefully these winds are going to stay below gale force, and, uh, you know, our luck is going to hold out. And, um, and uh, at this point we are just a little more than halfway to the Virgin Islands. So we're, we're, we're making pretty good time here and uh, just driving this sled south. Um, and uh, we'll see what happens. But uh, hopefully, it's, uh, hopefully we're starting to get over this hump here. And uh, by tomorrow we'll have lighter conditions and uh, things, will be, things will be a little, more, a little easier to deal with out here. Uh, the bumpy ride does get old pretty fast, I can tell you that. Um, so anyway, again, it is, uh, this is Friday, November 23rd. Saturday in the morning, about 10 a.m., November 23rd, November 24th, I believe, and uh, we had just a hellish night last night. I ended up heating, too, for about six hours. We had gale conditions, 30, 35 knots, winds gusting to 40, squalls. And uh, it's, it's, it's dialed down a little bit this morning. We're back to about 20 to 30 knots. But uh, the wind has veered a bit. It's coming, it's now more east-southeast. We're steering on a south-southwesterly heading. Um, as you can see, we got more squalls coming. 
Uh, basically just no let up here. So we're going on day number three of rough weather. Um, I'll get the updated forecast in a couple of hours. Hopefully this stuff is going to lay down. We're going to get those westerly winds tonight, like they said. But so far there's really not much sign of moderation here. Um, so, so we just keep soldiering on here. Um, everything's okay. The boat's fine. We're just not having any fun. Thank mm -hmm. you.